Welcome back to the Linux Security Series. In this series, we'll discuss security issues that affect Linux systems and common misconfigurations that lead to them. Privilege escalation is a way that attackers can escalate their privileges on a system. For example, let's say that an attacker has gained access to your web server but only as a low privileged user. They cannot read or write sensitive files, execute scripts, or change system configuration. How could they compromise your server and maintain their access there? If they can only find a way to trick the system into thinking that they are the root user, the attacker can carry out more powerful attacks like reading and writing sensitive files and inserting permanent backdoors into the system. And this is where privilege escalation comes in. Today, let's talk about how attackers can exploit wildcard injections to escalate their privileges. Wildcards are a special character that represents all in many programming languages. And in the Linux command line, you can use the wildcard character to refer to all the files in the current directory. For example, this command will delete all the files in the current directory. When you execute a command using a wildcard, it will expand into a command with all the matching files in the directory. For example, if the current directory contains three files named file1, file2, and file3, this command will expand into this one. So why does this functionality help attackers achieve privilege escalation? Commands often have flags that provide additional information about how a program should run. For example, when executing the ls command to list directory contents, you can specify the dash L flag to specify that the program should display file information in the long format. The problem here is that if a command is run with a wildcard and there is a file in that directory named like a flag name, the command could misinterpret the file name as the command flag. For example, if we run the rm command in the directory with a file named dash rf, the command will expand into this command, which will remove all files and subdirectories instead of just the files in the current directory. This means that if attackers can create files named after command flags, they can manipulate the behavior of another user's commands. And when privileged users run commands with a wildcard, attackers can inject dangerous flags into their commands and cause unintended consequences. For example, an attacker might be able to execute arbitrary system commands as the root user if they can inject a flag that will execute system commands. Let's look at how attackers can explore wildcard injections when the root user uses the rsync tool. rsync is a Linux tool used for creating backups. It transfers and synchronizes files between a machine and an external hard drive or across a network. This is the simplest usage of rsync, where source is the source directory of your files and dest is the destination that you want to copy to. And in the rsync command line tool, you can use the dash e flag to run arbitrary commands via a shell script. This means that if an attacker can create a file named dash e sh path to script, they can inject to another user's rsync command and make rsync execute any malicious script. For example, the attacker can create a shell script that will make them the root user. This script adds a new root user to the Etsy password file. Since zero is the UID of the root user, adding a user with the UID of zero will give that user root privileges. This user will have the username of Vicky and an empty password. This command is normally not possible for regular users because only privileged users can modify the Etsy password file. But let's name the shell script script.sh and then save it. And then we can create a file name that will inject a dash e flag to the rsync command. Now, if the root user runs the rsync command in this directory with a wildcard, the wildcard will cause the flag to be injected into the command and the root user will execute the malicious shell script and add us as the root user. You can prevent this type of attack by thinking twice before using the wildcard in command. 
and when you need to use the wildcard, you can add the full path of the directory in front of the wildcard to avoid injection. For example, to prevent the above rsync attack, you can execute this command instead. This will cause the command to expand into this one, breaking the syntax of the injected flag. Thanks for watching, and next time we'll dive into more privilege escalation techniques that attackers can use to compromise your system.